Topic 1, Lesson 2, Patterns for Facts. Now, you already know that multiplication is the same as repeated addition. Today, you're going to learn patterns for multiplication with your 2s and 5s. Now, let's take a look at our standard, standard 4.oa.c.5, and it's to generate a number or shape pattern that follows a given rule. Now, that's the key there. We're looking for patterns. What, if, what is the rule we can come up with that we know if we do it over and over, it's the same rule, same pattern. And we'll continue to look at that. And here's our focus. What patterns, there's that word again, can help you remember multiplication facts for your twos and fives. So by the end of this lesson, that's what you should be able to know how to do. Let's take a look at an example. How many fingers are there on four hands? Now in the picture here, we only have one hand, and it's easy to count the fingers on one hand. But what about four hands? How do we do that easy? What pattern could we follow? Let's take a look. So here we have four hands, and it's pretty easy to see that if we counted each one, this would be, there's five here, five here, five here, five here. But we can actually start making a pattern. So this first one, we have five, goes there. And if we add this one, so then it's now five, ten. Five plus five is ten. And then we go to this one and bring that in. Now we've got fifteen. And bring this over, we've got twenty. So it's pretty easy to see that. In fact, you could add it up five, plus 5, plus 5, plus 5, equals 20. But a faster, easier way to do that is to say, look, I've got 5 times 4 hands, so I've got 5 fingers on each hand, and I've got 4 hands. That's going to get us the same answer, 20. Pretty easy. And in fact, remember, this is our product. That's our answer. The 5 and the 4 are our factors. 20 is our product. Now try this. How many fingers are on 9 hands? So let's stop the video. Try, try this on your own. And when you think you have the answer, come back and we'll sh look at the answer. Good luck. All right. Hopefully you have a good answer. So let's take a look at what you said. So how many fingers are there on nine hands? A little bit bigger this time. So what did you do? Did you draw anything? Or did you write it out like this? You could have actually drawn nine hands. That's easy to do. But look, we've got five, 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 five. We have nine fives here. And if we added these all up, we'd go... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. And if we actually, we could do the multiples. Let me write that word down, multiples. We would actually have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Those are called multiples. And again, we go back down to the bottom here. 5 times 9. These are our factors. 5 and 9 are factors. And we get 45. That's our product. Okay? So now try some on your own. Good luck.